Ladies and gentlemen, we finally did it. We hit 500,000 subscribers. And if you've been watching, you know I've been doing a challenge where I've been trying to get all the LEGO games platinumed before we hit that. And obviously we failed. So that's a little bit awkward. But if you guys want to see me continue this challenge, then let's get this video to 10,000 likes within 48 hours. And then I'll platinum the rest of the LEGO games. Anyways, today I decided to do the hardest of all the LEGO games in the series, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. The LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga contains a small amount of 46 trophies with a massive 100 hour plus grind. This is by far the most challenging and torturous grind out of any LEGO game and even compares to some hard platinum trophies in general. Alright, so the first stage of this platinum trophy is just play through all the levels as fast as you possibly can because the time for the 1200 collectibles is unimaginably long after. Since the game is also about the entire Star Wars Saga, it has every single movie as each level in the game. You can start from different places in the movies, but I chose to begin with Episode 1 mostly because I'm not weird. This episode opens up with an intro into the game and it gives you a tutorial actually because all good games do. And this is also like meant for kids, I think. I mean, it's Lego for God's sake, but all real men play Lego games still. Anyways, you then follow a droid around until it takes you to a room which is poisoned right after in an assassination attempt. This reminds me so much of November 1963. But the rest of this section then just had us escape the Trade Federation ship and we ended up back on soil, thank God. Also, Jar Jar Binks is here and if you don't love this man, there is something wrong with you. He also brings us down to the underwater city so we can get help from them. And they tell us to just drive this ship straight through the core of the planet. While doing this, we also got chased nearly to death by a giant sea monster, which is a tragedy. And I also got my first trophy here for just gathering 17,000 studs, which isn't much at all in comparison to the bank I bring home. A little while later on this first episode, I also completed all of the challenges for it, which give you a few kyber bricks each level. That also adds into the massive 1200 in the end. But for now, I just got a trophy. The rest of this first episode then had us escort the queen all over creation until ending up at her ship so we could escape the planet. After, we also got to meet the legend, Anakin Skywalker, and do a pod race which was like oddly fun as hell, and it makes me mad that there was only one in the entire game. Missed opportunity, what can I say? But then the episode basically ends with you boss battling Darth Maul, which was sort of cool, but there was so many pauses in the fight that it felt more like we were just tickling his nuts the whole time. I did manage to rack up a 30 combat score, however, and got a trophy for that because it's apparently hard. Now I've seen things that are hard, and this isn't that. A little later, we ended up beating Darth Maul, but this wasn't actually the end of the level and we had one more super long flying mission actually. I also reached True Jedi in this level and got a trophy for reaching that for the first time on any level in the game. And during this awesome flying mission I managed to finish it all the way through without dying and got a trophy for doing just that. I then watched a few cool cutscenes for the plot and received the episode 1 trophy. So now it's time to play episode 2, you know, as you do. This one was quite a bit more complex than the first one though and had us swapping back and forth between characters and even storylines much much more. It began with us chasing down a bounty hunter on a massive chase throughout the city, and after that, Obi-Wan then left Anakin to go investigate a cloning facility. Always hate when that happens. And then there was a massive fight in space, which this game somehow manages to make space combat amazing yet awful at the same time. We also got stuck in a robotic processing center, which I could have swore to god. This is what the most normal Amazon warehouse looks like. But then the episode basically ends with everyone just cock out battling it inside of this Coliseum-esque place. Low-key, this fighting sequence was a banger. Pure cinema. Also, I forgot there was a boss battle against Count Dooku as well. Sadly, he got plot armor today. And then the trophy for episode 2 popped. Alright, so episode 3 then began, and it immediately threw us into the action with the simple objective of finding Chancellor Palpatine. But when we got there, Count Dooku was there again, and we got to fight the guy again. Low-key nostalgic, considering we just did that 34 Four seconds ago. But this time we actually managed to defeat him. And then we actually got to battle General Grievous right after, and this episode consisted of just fighting the whole time, which was actually a lot of fun. Aside from when Order 66 got activated and they then tried to eliminate everyone. Even after that though, we then got to battle Darth Sidious and also Anakin for like an hour, so that's cool. This episode then ends with you obviously taking out Anakin and him transforming into big bad boy Darth Vader. And if you didn't know that happens already, I'm so sorry for your loss. But there is another trophy pop right here. Alright, episode 4 now, and we get to play as new characters. Woohoo! Round of applause. I know, I know. And maybe there will even be some incest. Who knows? Sadly, this episode was super boring and I kind of wish it didn't exist. But we finally reached a fun part and got to play as Daddy Han Solo, just exterminating the masses around us. Anyways, after all that fun, I finally managed to get a triple kill with an explosion, which was a trophy because why not? A little bit later, I also got a trophy since my aim is absolutely superb and it was for getting 50 headshot kills. Sadly, right after, my game crashed and this actually happened a lot during my playthrough, which kind of sucks. The rest of this episode then just had us battle a trash monster and not your mother. And also we got to blow up the Death Star, which was fun and I'd do it again. But then the trophy popped for that episode also, which is cool. 
So the next episode then had us play on Hoth for a ridiculous amount of time, and I even began to get cold. There was a battle against the Empire here though, and taking down these walkers was like unironically hard. Primarily because the steering mechanics in this game are just complete and utter balls, and really make me appreciate other LEGO Star Wars games with superior flying. Hate me for it, I dare you. Speaking of flying, we also got to go back into space, and then after that we swapped over to play as Luke and had Yoda cosplay as our backpack. Kinda thought it was a little weird. Even more weird though is when we had a full-fledged battle with Darth Vader within the mind. Those shrooms go hard, no cap. After all that fun though, we got to play as Leia and the game just made us do a ton of puzzles playing as her. Way to nerf what could have been a great time. But then the final part had a huge battle with Darth Vader that also included us hiding in fear and pissing our pants during it. But after that, it was the end of the episode and we got another trophy for completing it. So in the next episode, it opened up with a battle against this creature. Whatever it's called, I don't even know, although it does tell me. And after that, we got the battle as Leia, but the shirtless one, so, no matter what happens next, we're having a good time. I then got to race around in the forest, and I'm shocked there isn't trees everywhere just for us to run into. But it ended with us hopping into a little walker and then getting to blow up stuff. After that, we then got to fight Darth Vader again to end the day, and it was even more fun than the first time. But it ends with the end of the episode, and then we got a trophy. And then we landed on another episode like usual, but this time it was the Force Awakens one, and sadly it was like identical to the game I just made a video on, so I don't really want to talk about it. But here's the trophy for the episode. And then the next episode began, and we are reaching near the end of these, thank god. But this one primarily consisted of us just tailing around old Luke Skywalker the whole time. Honestly, it got a little bit weird how much we did just follow him, and I honestly feel bad for the guy. He probably Probably wanted to press charges on stalking, but he can't because there's no government out in the wildlands. Thankfully, after a while, we did get to swap over and play as Kylo Ren and do evil things to balance out with the wholesome stalking. And we also swapped over to play as Finn in this same place and had an absolutely massive battle with Captain Phasma, I think, who is basically this girl that harasses Finn all the time because she has a crush on him. But this fight was actually one of the best in the game, and I'm not even joking. Like, it was so good, nothing else even happened of significance in this story, and then the episode's trophy popped. But the next episode then had us begin with action, thank the Lord. Lord, and we fought TIE Fighters for endless distance underground. I'm not really sure how this is even possible, but then again, it is just a video game, so anything is. Next we got to play as Rey and Chewbacca actually, and stuck around behind enemy lines until having a full on boss battle with Kylo Ren again. And then another one with the evil BB-8 droid, which after beating, actually ended up being the final part of the episode. And that was actually the end of the story completely, and we got two trophies. Alright, so now that the story is finished, it's time to begin the worst part of this platinum trophy. The 1200 collectibles. And it literally just consists of getting 100 100% on every single planet, and also 100% on every single level, but I'm saving that for the end. The first planet I did was that one from the first episode, and this opened my eyes immediately to the horrible grind this game truly is. Each planet has around 20 to 40 kyber bricks in it with a few characters added on, and usually one extra to collect. The objectives are, um fun, you know, the first time you do it, but after that they all blend into the same thing and it actually begins to get quite repetitive. This is my nice way of saying I think I have dementia from doing the Bruh. same thing in this game for 50 hours straight. That's what I'm saying! But on this first planet, I chose to do one part of it called Feed to begin with. Anyways, I was pretty much just super lost with what the hell is going on in the game because doing the cleanup raw like this is just a horrible idea. But uh, I spent two and a half hours doing this, like, I'm not even kidding. And I didn't even finish it because another very annoying thing is when the objectives in the game don't work or even appear since they still need to be unlocked from other random planets. And not knowing this at the start of the grind was super confusing because I thought something was just wrong with me not being able to find them. But after realizing I should probably just move on to other planets and come back later, once it was possible to do this planet, I chose to head to Lake Pagano, which is the other side of Naboo that I am on. Now, this one is a little bit weird because you start on land, obviously, and still have a few things to collect here and there, but the majority of pain and agony resides underwater in the underwater city part, which also has collectibles to get that do count for the Lake Pagano area overall. Now that I think about it, I really did pick like the absolute worst first planet to clean up, so that's unfortunate. But I did get to also experience one of my first multi-planetary side missions, making me go from Naboo to Tatooine to Jin and assist, uh, I feel like I just murdered all of those. And then to Coruscant, all just for one of these damn Jar Jar Bink wannabes. I then decided to do Tatooine's planet next because it is one of the most iconic in the game and I did a little bit better with finding stuff on this one. But these all just take so long to do, it's crazy, and I'm not even sure why because you can literally see all the collectibles on the map and during the game. But I did finally discover you can go through and buy each rumor so then the collectibles get marked and stuff if they aren't already, which comes in extremely handy in the future. Anyways, a little bit later I was doing a smuggling mission for some side mission and ended up eliminating 100 TIE Fighters total, which is bound to happen no matter what with this game. But there is a trophy for it anyways. I then headed back to Tatooine and did some side quests for the iconic band there 
which was cool. But once I went into space, I ran into one of my first ever encounters with the giant Imperial ships that just spawn into existence to hurt your feelings. These are a random world event as far as I know, and they are also one of the most annoying because they take forever to complete. First, you have to lower the defenses to zero, and then you get to go inside and also fight people all over the place, just so you can reach the final boss fight and beat the captain, which also takes forever to do. But in the end, they ask you to buy it, and this also makes you feel poor, so overall, it's not a great experience. And then a few hours later, after I cleared a few other planets somewhat, I managed to fully clear out both Kashyyyk and Kikami? 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 Kikami. For a trophy, finally. Also, sorry if I just butchered those made-up word pronunciations. It's not my fault, they're just weird. But then the next trophy I got was called the Interior, which is gotten from clearing Coruscant, Jakku, and Takadona. And doing all of that took me six more hours to do. So yeah, I sort of wish I could have spent that time differently. In fact, I could name like at least 23 other things to spend 6 hours on that would have been more fun. But I did get the trophy for it, so here you go. I then did all the events on Kamino, and after I finished this neat little force puzzle right here, the trophy for that popped. I then headed back to Tatooine because I apparently hadn't finished it up to 100% quite yet. This is because most of the side missions needed other things to activate them first, and I had no clue what to do to get them going. But I ended up doing every single faulty droid mission here. This was a side mission line that had us rescue, or sort of capture depending on your point of view. All these droids that escape captivity from the Jawas. And after capturing them all, there is then a mission, which is the final one where they just all escape and run away. So then you have to go chase them all down again and also battle them all to the brink of death. God, I feel like Sisyphus right now. But here's the trophy. And after about an hour and a half later, I actually did finish Tatooine and even finished Genesis as a matter of fact, which then popped me the trophy for completing the Arcanus Sector. And since I have sort of been popping around randomly doing this cleanup across the galaxy, I also managed to complete all the planets inside the trailing sectors and only about an hour later than the last trophy pop, which was great and I felt super happy for a second. But then I remembered we aren't even halfway to finishing the Platinum and I cried a little bit more. Next trophy I got is called New Territories. This one is for finishing the planets called Cantonica, Yavin 4, we don't talk about the first three, and also Ajin Kloss. I don't know what any of these are, aside from that they had lots of collectibles, and I think I'm now dead inside. Also, the final objective I had to do before the trophy popped was literally one of the most annoying ones in the game. It has the simple objective of just finding 10 of these cursed-ass lizard things. But bro, they are so small, and this game has so much going on that even my ADHD ass couldn't find them within the midst of confusion spinning around in circles like a bad habit. So shout out to the video game guide YouTubers for coming in clutch, I love you. Anyways, there's the trophy pop right here. Next trophy up on the pain list of endless pain is called Greater Javin. Anyways, it's gotten for clearing Bespin, Crate, and Hoth. Now I know one of those from the movies, and you probably know which one, but at this point in the grind for the game, I had sort of gotten the hang of how to do things in a somewhat fast way, making getting this trophy less painful than the other ones before it in terms of confusion. But don't you worry, it still took me five more hours from the last one, so that's amazing. I love slowly dying inside more and more. And I then just did another trophy in relation to planet completion called Western Reaches, except this time it's with Dagobah, Mustafar, which I swear to god I knew a guy named that one time, and also Utah Poo or something, I don't know how to say it. But yeah, it's literally the same concept as the last 10 trophies, and I'm honestly so bored of this cleanup. Alright, I then did another trophy called Gonk. This one actually isn't about planet completion though, and it's gotten from completing all of the Gonk droid escort missions, which by the way are one of the most boring and horrible missions in the game, and I now see why they made this a trophy, primarily because it just sucks doing these missions over and over. Also, just in general doing escort missions, especially when in space they're just so dragged out. And you get to do them like 40 times, so that's awesome. Anyways, there's the trophy pop. Alright, so I'm not gonna dilly-dally around the point anymore because I'm honestly so sick of this game, I don't even want to edit this video about it anymore. But I kept on cleaning up the galaxy as you do, and I managed to finish every single race right here. These were actually quite fun, and a few were super hard. However, the majority of them are simple and shouldn't be much of a challenge to complete. And then I was on the final planet in my game that had still yet to be completed. Endor. While here I found the last data card which are like the red brick extras in this game, and then a few minutes after I also just completely finished it, and in turn I got two trophies for the region specific one and entire galaxy's completion. And it was then the dredged last step of the game. I now have to replay the entire game story levels again and also just do a few random trophies after that. Honestly, replaying each level didn't take horribly long at all since I had everything I needed to do it, so I got a trophy right away for finding every single mini kit on a level. And you also don't need to get 100% completion in the game for the platinum, but you do need to find at least 1,000 Kyber Bricks to get this trophy right here. Multiple hours later, I also got True Jedi in every single level, which isn't hard at all with the amount of stud multipliers I had on my person. And then on that same level, I also finished every single challenge in every single level, and also collected every single mini kit in addition. So that is it for the replaying of stuff, essentially. But since this game is like unreasonably long, I still had multiple more hours left. First, I bought every single character, which was insanely annoying. 
especially the capital ships. And I then real fast bought every single upgrade, which was two trophies. And I'm not gonna lie, I totally forgot this was a thing in this game. Like, I never once used it. I then went around and did the remaining shooting gallery objectives left, which were both on different capital ships, hence the reason I couldn't find them before. And I also forced a ton of people to dance at once, all inside of this cantina, since the crowd was way too dead. And I then rode every single animal in the game, which was again annoying because you can't track it. And I absolutely hate when LEGO games do this, which they love to. So then the next trophy I was going after was the horrible goal of reaching 10 billion studs, I think. I honestly don't really know how much it is, but it just sucks. Even with a over 3,000 stud multiplier, it still took me an hour of replaying levels to get studs for this, and it was just overall a horrible experience. But then to wrap up the platinum trophy, I just had to wear a disguise 25 times, which you can farm easily at any point. So yeah, there is the LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga platinum trophy.